Badger, have you got anything to say? Speak. Speak. No, oh, sorry, he doesn't. Very, he's, <laughs> he's a strong He hasn't type. been in a studio for a while or sitting on a stool, so he's just settling in here. <laughs> Kelly Lee is the Executive Director of Science for Wildlife. Um, Kelly, this, this notion of using dogs to track wildlife and trying to help with extinction patterns and things like that, where did it come from? Um, it's relatively new in Australia, so they've been doing a lot more with wildlife detection dogs over in the US. So we did some research with Badger trying to work out the effects of habitat specifically. So scent is heavier than air, so it can pull and get caught up in vegetation and depressions and not spread so far. So which, the dog could lose the track. Exactly. The scent. could find it much harder to find something in those sorts of habitats. And if you're not aware of those sorts of limitations, then you've got more chance of the dog missing something. And that can be really critical particularly if you're looking for threatened species. Does that mean it doesn't work? No, we do know that dogs are incredibly successful. They're much more successful than humans um, compared to visual methods, hair snares, camera traps, all that sort of thing. Just now we're getting into threatened species. But as threatened species become lower in number, then obviously they're much harder to find. And that's where dogs come into their own. How do you train a dog like Badger to be just focused on the scat the poo, whatever we want to call it, of the particular animal. Yeah, it's all about positive reward. So the dog learning what it will get rewarded for. We actually trained him out in the open where there's lots of other smells to start with. And so he was only getting rewarded for tiger quoll scat, which he was originally trained on. We're training him up for koalas now as well. Why would a dog be good at that? Because presumably the koalas are very often up very high trees. I mean, that makes it very tough, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You can train them either for scats or live koalas. Because we're expecting low density populations up there, we're training him on actual scent of the koala rather than scats. So it is a different method. It's a lot more air scenting because the scent cone comes down from the tree because it's heavier than air and spreads out. So it's a lot harder for the dog to target it down. Um, but, yeah, it is possible. And they're, they're very good at tracing differences in concentration over time. So they can, you know, they can pick up direction of a track really easily, that sort of thing. All right, we're moving on to our risky live studio <laughs> experiment right now. We're going to use koala scent. How long has Badger been training on koala? koalas? He very recently, he's only had three training sessions on koalas. So I've got a little swab. It's just been rubbed on the fur of a koala for less than a minute, a couple of weeks ago. And it's sitting in the studio hidden. And Badger doesn't and know where it is. We stayed out. I stayed outside with Badger to make sure he wasn't peeking. Okay, <laughs> yeah. it's over to you and Badger now. And if you can, talk us through it. If you can't, I'll talk us through it. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, we put his harness on. So it's all about association. At the moment, he knows he's not working. But when I put his working harness on, he knows he's going to have to wake up from he's his a little bit He's starstruck at the moment. He's absolutely <laughs> he transfixed is. by the production studio. You ready? Come on. Seeing his harness on now. He's sitting up alert. Absolutely beautiful dog. So he's got his working harness on. Badger, this is real pressure. Just get the reward ready. Are you ready? So he's seen the ready reward. Ready find a koala? Go, search. So he's wandering around the studio. He's just walking around the studio at the moment. And he's going, I don't know where it is either. So has he found it? He's just, no, he he's still walking around. He's sniffing around. He's getting colder and colder, I'm afraid to say. Badger, <laughs> Badge, come, come on, Badger. This way. So is he going to find it? Where is it, Badger? Oh, he's sniffing now. The little nose is really working overtime now. He's right, oh, he's right on it. He's getting, oh, good boy. Badger just sat. At behind the stool where it was sitting. I haven't seen it, but I'm presuming it is there. That's yes, where it is, right yeah. Here. So he went all around the studio, had a good look, and then he came and his nose just really started twitching and then he just sat like a good boy and said, this is where it is. Yeah. Hey, good Badger. boy, Badger. Ready? Ah, there he is. Badger reigns supreme. He is a star um, tracker detector dog. And that's Kelly Lee. Kelly, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much, friend. That's Dr Kelly Lee, Executive Director of Science for Wildlife, and Badger, the detected dog. Well done, Badger. You came up trumps. Good dog, Badge. Well done. Kelly, thank you very much. Well done, Badger. You're Thanks listening to much. RM Breakfast. It's 26 minutes to nine.